So we hear all these statements all the time. Banks are the only place to get mortgages. You know, if your bank declines you, there's limited options. And really, if your bank declines you, you don't deserve a mortgage. Uh, we've also been told that B lending options, they're very limited. But I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth is there's more and more self-employed people every single year. There's lots of options, but planning and having the right team in your corner are going to be key. So where did all these B lenders come from? And why are there so many new B lenders? Well, it actually, it's, it's harder to qualify every single year. There's more and more contract. There's more self-employed. There's more temporary workers. Uh, the government stress test came in. That made things a little bit harder to qualify. Um, a lot of these lenders, they looked, there's great clients that are out there that can't get approved. So there's more and more B lenders all the time. They're launching new alternate lending arms to give you more and more options every single year. And, and the benefit of working with a broker is, you know, you might not fit under just one. You know, if you go into Scotiabank, they might have a program for you um, or they might not, depending on what they have this week. Right. Like First National, there's all kinds of different lenders. They all have different guidelines. They have all have different options to get you approved. And when you work with a broker, we can take it to every single one to find you the best option and the best rates. So, um, so many mortgage programs for self-employed clients. So let's talk about some of the programs that we can do and some of the ways that we can get you approved. Um, we have options to lenders who can get you approved in less than two years financials. Um, we can write up your income. So we have stated income programs. So if your two year average is really, really low because your accountant's done a great job, we have stated income programs that help you get approved with a higher number. We can use some of those retained earn earnings as an asset. We can add some of those back into your income. We have access to high net worth programs. So you, if you you're saving a lot of money in your business, um, but keeping a lot of, you know, very, very low income, we've got access to some of those programs. Uh, we can qualify using your bank statement. So we have uh, stated income programs through the income that just comes into your bank statement. So we can use your last six months, your last 12 months bank statements and get you approved that way. Now it's important to stand, understand your options, right? So we have two simplified options, A lenders, which are like the banks um, and B lenders. Those are the alternate arms. So A lenders, like I said, they treat your income um, like an employee, uh, they, like any T Ford employee. Uh, they offer the best rates. They do offer lower fees. They are a cheaper option that way if you are claiming a high income. Now the B lenders, they look at self-employed just a little bit differently. Now. The downside of those, there are going to be some higher rates and lender fees, but we're going to jump into a case study and we'll show you exactly what the difference is. And if you could still save money working with a little bit higher interest rate. 